have dried fruit. Mm -hmm. A lot of people eat these, they think they're really healthy, they give them to their kids as well, and they're also really yummy. Mm. But, packed with sugar. And they usually have sugar covered in them as well. So, they're really bad for your teeth, your skin, everything, because it's got so much sugar in it. Usually coated in sugar. The dentist told me to have some. Even the dentist telling people not to eat them because it's so bad for your teeth. Yeah, really bad for your teeth. So, healthy alternative. Oh, what we got? Get rid of this one. Just have the normal oh, fruit. Regular fruit. It's got less sugar in it. It's not covered in sugar and it's not dried out and concentrated. Okay, so number two is our biscuits that are gluten free and they claim that they have so many more health benefits for you. But actually, they're really high in sugar again, aren't they, Georgia? There's more sugar in one of these cookies that are gluten free than a normal cookie. So you're not actually doing yourself any favour. Not at all. Even though they probably taste really good. No. If I can't eat it, you can't have any. Okay. <laughs> so what's going to be the alternative? Ooh, what do you think? These are much better for us. Absolutely. Mmm. Mm. Number three, microwave popcorn. A lot of people eat this and think it's good for them, but actually really bad. Popcorn itself is good for you, but the actual thing is this is not good for you. It's not good. Oh, I don't know to eat it. No. This is the microwave one that's really bad for you. So you shouldn't be eating this one when I can make you a better for you alternative. Super easy. The actual popcorn kernels are really good for you. And then you could add your own Himalayan salt Ooh. or a healthy salt. Not loads of butter, loads of calories. Chocolate. Or you could make your own chocolate sauce. Yes. Healthy chocolate sauce. Dark chocolate sauce. So instead of your microwave popcorn, what I've done is I've literally got the popcorn kernels and pop them myself in a saucepan with a lid. Really easy and takes two seconds. And I've got some nice, yummy, plain popcorn. Super good and good for you. Um, you could put salt on them if you wanted, just a little bit. Or if you want the sweet version, you could put honey on, or you could add your own chocolate sauce. Oh, it's soy milk. Mm, people love soy milk. I love soy milk. I actually drink it because I'm a bit lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant, you know, you think, oh, healthy alternative. Yeah, of course. Why not? Have a go. Why not? Yum, yum. But it's actually really bad for you, so you shouldn't really drink it at all. <laughs> it's not good. The soya and the way they process it is not healthy. <laughs> Good. Thank you. So a healthy alternative is nut milk or oat milk. So here's one I made earlier. This is an almond milk. Give it a try. What do you think? Mm. Yeah, I actually like that. It's so much better for you. I feel like it. Mm, nice. Yeah? Well, so you can good. use this in your cereal, in your teas, and it's really good instead of soy milk. A lot healthier, a lot cheaper. Yeah. You just need your nuts of choice. I use almonds and water. Yeah. You can use cashews for cashew milk, cashew cream. Mm -hmm. You can use so many different nuts. If you add vanilla extract as well, that makes it a bit sweeter, a bit nicer. You could add honey. Mm -hmm. You could even add some dates to sweeten it. Obviously, you need your water in there. You don't need many almonds. Just a little bit of almonds. Then fill it up with water. Blend it together. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope this was helpful for you to learn about some new foods and me. not eat the bad ones. So enjoy! <laughs>